It's one of the hottest topics in college sports. Should student athletes be able to make a profit while at school? In California, the answer is now yes. After Governor Gavin Newsom signed a law allowing students to profit off their names, image and likeness, including things like video games and jerseys. California will be uh, the only one with this law, and but they're not going to be the last. Will New York be next? There's a proposed bill in the state Senate that does the same thing as California's and goes one step further, requiring college athletic departments to give away 15 percent of their revenue, paying all student athletes directly. The NCAA called California's law unconstitutional. All of the inconsistencies with this is eventually going to push the NCAA to have to do something, or there has to be some sort of federal statute that um, encompasses all uh, U.S. states. Mike Farrell with the Martin Group Sports Division says today's athletes are not the same as the ones from 10 or 20 years ago. The modern athlete in some instances, whether it be for college football, college basketball especially, uh, they're concerned with becoming their own brand. While some athletes receive six-figure scholarships, Farrell referenced an example the California governor gave, saying all athletes are still being treated unfairly. A student can go uh, to a college or university uh, and profit off he, uh, his or her likeness on YouTube um, and make scores of money. Uh, if you play a sport, no matter what sport it is in the NCAA, you cannot make a dime off anything that you do. So what would New York's proposed bill look like in practice at the University at Buffalo? According to USA Today, the UB Athletic Department brought in nearly $41 million two years ago. Just over 15% of that is $6.1 million. You divide that by the 385 student athletes, each student would get just about a $15,000 paycheck. But again, this bill is only in committee with no scheduled vote. Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.